Good day, this is JNN Weekday News. I'm Lafine Wigan. Here now are the top stories. Two men were electrocuted in West Milan Wednesday in separate incidents after sticks they were using to pick breadfruits became entangled in Jamaica Public Service Company JPS High Tension Wires. Then our 28-year-old Denville Carr of Three Miles River and 59-year-old farmer Frank Drummond of Moreland District in the parish. Reports are that Kerr was electrocuted in the district of Three Miles River about 8 a.m., while 15 minutes later Drummond was electrocuted miles away in Moreland. 50-year-old Andrea Bins died after being hit by a motor car yesterday morning along Cypress Boulevard in Keystone, St. Catherine. Reports from the police are that about 8 to 19 a.m., Bins was attempting to cross the road when she was hit by a Nissan Sunny motor car. She was assisted to the hospital where she succumbed to her injuries. The driver has since been warned for prosecution, the police say. More than a year after being dismissed by the board of the Halfway Tree Primary School, approval has been given for the reinstatement of Principal Carol O'Connor Clark. The Teachers' Appeal Tribunal has allowed her appeal. Mrs. O'Connor Clark was dismissed by the school board after an inquiry into complaints against her. Details of the complaints were not revealed, but they were made by a member of the board. She appealed to the tribunal, which heard the matter between late last year and early this year. Her attorney, Andre Earl, contended that the process used to terminate her had deficiencies and breached provisions of the education regulations. Meanwhile, Mr. Earl noted that based on the decision which was made public yesterday, all Mrs. O'Connor Clark's entitlements should be reinstated for the time she was out of the position. Parents will have to pay more for textbooks in the 2014-2015 school year. The announcement was made by the Book Industry Association of Jamaica, BIAJ. Immediate past president of the association, Franklin McGibbon, says this is due to the slide in the value of the local currency to the U.S. dollar. Mr. Mac Mr. McGibbon added that the movement in the exchange rate has significantly impacted the book industry. Head of the Hanover Fire Department, Deputy Superintendent Paul Hibbert, has called for more resources to boost the capability of the brigade to deal with the current spate of fires in the parish. The Deputy Superintendent argues that there is presently only one unit based at the Lucy Station to serve the entire parish. He highlighted the need for three additional fire stations to properly cover the Western Parish. Hibbert is suggesting constructing stations in Green Island, Hopewell and Houghton Grove, even though there would still be inadequacies. The Divisional Commander's appeal comes in the wake of almost 20 massive fires in the parish in recent months, which have left three persons, an infant and two senior citizens dead a baby hospitalized, and major structural damage to several dwellings in business places. The deputy superintendent also appealed to residents to call the Lucy Fire Station directly first in case of an emergency rather than calling the toll-free number. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lafayne Wigan, and this is JNN News Worth Watching.